Hey guys, Rush here with a new video. Today, I have a circuit that will detect both rising and falling edges without the use of a block update detector. Well, so what this rising and falling edges is, is like how, kind of like how redstone behaves. It's kind of, can't really explain it, but here, I have a circuit right here to kind of demonstrate. This is a falling edge trigger. When I flip this lever, this piston will not react to um, this flipped lever until I unflip this. This will detect the falling edge. When I place the redstone torch here, this piston will not react until I remove this redstone torch. So it will be the falling edge. Rising edge would be the same, would be the opposite of this. If I place a redstone torch here, this piston would react, but when I remove it, it wouldn't. But because this is a falling edge trigger, it will only react when I remove the redstone torch. We usually use block update detectors for dual edge triggers. Um, a dual edge trigger or rising and falling edge trigger will allow a lever to act as a button. So the reason why this won't work in some cases, in a lot of cases, because redstone will update um, this block a update detector and it will update when you power redstone and it's just not a good thing to use if in more compact uh, projects that you have. So I have a circuit right here that I made. Um, this is my design. It will detect both rising and falling edges. So I can flip this lever and this piston right here will detect that and I can unflip this lever and then it will detect that. It, again, it will it allows a lever to act as a button. So if I place the redstone torch here, it will detect that and when I remove the redstone torch, it will detect that too. So the same thing works with the pressure plate. I can step on this pressure plate, it will detect that. I can step off and it will also detect that. So let's h how do you build this? It's very simple to build, one block wide and um, nice design. So we just stack up two um, blocks, solid objects right here, and place redstone torches on both of these with a stream of redstone coming down like this and dipping into a little hole here. We also want to place wool or whatever block of your choice on top right there with a regular or a sticky piston facing downward. So like that. Okay, then from here you just want to place your piston right here, like that, and then your output is right here. So that's it. And that's how you build a um, dual edge trigger without the use of a block update detector. Your input is of course right here, so it will detect both rising and falling edges. Thanks for watching, be sure to check out my other videos and to subscribe. Thanks, I'll see you guys later.